The intention behind this trip was really to shine a light, a very public light, on school infrastructure conditions in rural Eastern Cape. We felt that it was important that we took a delegation of eminent South Africans to go and see this for themselves, to go and see this reality which thousands of children have to experience every day. Things that we only re we read about in newspapers and so on. It's not enough to know. To see is what really opens you. What I have seen here is devastating to the soul. You can't have grade ones, more than a hundred in one stuffy classroom. Looking at the overcrowding, looking at poor sanitation. What can they learn in that situation? It's like a peak style. This for me is shocking. Because you can't talk about the library if there's not enough classrooms and there's 300 children in the classroom. So the basic minimum norms and standards need to be there. The thing that disappoints me a lack of respect towards students who go through a lot of effort to get to school. And then they will arrive in a classroom that has broken desks, broken chairs. Most of them don't even have proper chairs to sit on. The fact that there are no libraries, the fact there are no books, their children are not reading. 50 years ago in the Eastern Cape, I had better schooling and better conditions than some of these kids. If nothing changes, the biggest thing is obviously poverty. We are busy breeding poverty. If you have a heart, I'm sure you will be moved to action, decisive action, meaningful action. If nothing changes, there is no way that this country will advance. We will not have informed, educated leaders because these are the people who must lead us tomorrow. A lot is at stake if we allow these children to be educated here and if they uh, drop out, they come back to haunt society. We desperately need a binding framework for minimum norms and standards so that we could address some of these appalling, dangerous and demeaning school infrastructure. One of the important things to come out of this trip is a public reckoning with this problem. We also visited one of the few new schools, so we know it's possible to change this. It's a part of an advocacy campaign. It's a part of trying to push the Ministry of Basic Education to set legal standards which would be applicable throughout the country. We need our, our leaders, our political leaders, to be accountable to us. And so we need to keep up the spotlight, we need to keep up the, the flow of information because the more people know about it, the more pressure is being built around this issue, the more likely it is that things will fall into place. Come on, let's make South Africa work. This has to stop. This has to stop.